Oh, friends, good evening. It's it's Cletus. I know it's a, I'm kind of feeling a little uncomfortable right now. I'm not used to this type of attire. Uh, well, I, I've been uh, elected to talk about the gullet with you uh, for for just a minute. It, it's I, I, it's I, he didn't really have a heck of a lot for me to do today, uh, and he reckoned I, I I come in and explain the gullet to you a little. So I hope you'll gather around. Uh, Bella, are you watching? So you can talk to, to, to your daddy about the gullet. Okay? All right. I'm all buttoned up. I got my tie on. I hope it's all looking all fancy dancy there and that. And I got my hair all slicked back. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. I do feel good, I must admit. I think maybe when you get dressed up and look a little better, maybe you feel a little better. I don't know. I feel okay. I feel pretty good, actually. Come on in a little closer, friends. Let's talk about getting the gullet. I like that, get the gullet. I sure do. Now, you're going to have to deal with this slurfing and sloughing. You guys know me. I took that axe in the face and dropped my lip off many years ago. And it allows me to kind of show you my nice teeth and all and everything. And that's fine and dandy. But I, unfortunately, I make this noise once in a while. And it's so that drool don't come down my face. I got I to gotta do that or it just it, it's not worth it. It's not worth talking to me, really. So you're going to have to deal with that just a little bit. All right, all right, all right. Good. Now, this gullet, you've all heard about getting the gullet. I told you that, didn't I? I did, yeah. Now, I'm going to grab my chalk. I got my chalk here. I want to show you a couple quick things about getting the gullet. It's real simple. It's real short. I ain't going to take up much of your time. I told you that, didn't I? Yeah, all right. Good. Now, there's another slurp. It's okay. It won't be lunch. Now, look at this, friends. Get the gullet. Let's come on a little closer here. All right. All right, all right? All right. Now, there's two illustrations here on the chalkboard that I got today left on my front door, all right? The top one's got a check mark on it that I actually personally put there because I like check marks. It's positive. A check is positive means yes. An X means no. That's just how I understand it, all right? I told you that, didn't I? Okay, good. I'm sure I did. This here is not getting the gullet, friends. It's just not. You've got to get the gullet. If you're planning on running power saws, if you want to call it a chainsaw, you can call it a chainsaw. I call it a power saw, all right? Let's look a little closer. Come on in. Now, I'll grab the chalk with my other hand. <laughs> look at here. Can you see this? Friends, I'm looking at it myself. Now, it looks to me, this fella has sharpened his chainsaw chain a couple times. Excuse me. But unfortunately, to me, it looks like he's been lifting up. You know, he's probably looking over top of his chain. He's looking down. He's looking over top, you know, and he's, 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 he's looking at the working corner. And this is what we call the working corner, friends. It's right up here, right there. Now, I had this all, I was doing another, trend, uh, another uh, what do you call it there, class there earlier, and I had my fingers in there. So I'll redraw it real quick for you, because I'm good at it now. Check it out. Here comes this working corner, friends. Comes right in like this, and then she hooks back, goes like that. You see how good I've done that? I've done it real good. I told you that, didn't I? All right. Now, that looks real good to me. You see, you call it a C. You see, I call it a C. See, I can say C. C's no problem. I can say C all day. It's when I got to say v, 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 and they, they don't work them good, them words for me. Now, here's our C. This is a get in the gullet example. This is a real good example because this particular tooth has gotten the gullet right out of it. He's been digging out that gullet the whole way back. You got to pull her back the whole way. I'll do a demonstration on how to do it on another video, but I'm just showing you a visual. You see how this slants back? Friends, look real close now. This comes back here like this, and the guy's been filing. He's been filing up in here. He's been pulling back on it, and he hasn't been getting down in the gullet here. The gullet's here. The gullet is here, and it's got to go all the way back to the back of the tooth where that line is when you're done filing. I told you that, didn't I? Up here, you got all this meat here. The whole thing's got to come out unless you're grinding chain. I grind sometimes when I'm falling timber out in the woods. Residential, I prefer to hand file. And that's when you've got to get the gullet, friends. 
the gullet. Don't forget the gullet. Friends, it was a short example of what we were talking about lately with the get the gullet thing. A fella told me the other day, he took out the whole gullet there. He says it had the gullet gone. He said, bucking, but he said my dang chain wouldn't cut. Now, I think what happened to him, friends, is he took too much gullet. You've got to get your work in corner, friends. Don't forget your work in corner. Your work in corner's up here. You dig that gullet out and you think to yourself, you got this hand tapping you on the back thinking you're all cool and hot and hot. Do do do. Well, you better cut first before you think you're done good, because it'll curl over before you know it. You might even have not sharpened it. Excuse me. It's called the working corner. Get the gullet, but don't forget your working corner. Friends, I got to go. I wanted to spend a couple minutes with you. I got all dressed up for the occasion when I have my new chap board with me. I'm pretty tickled with it. I'll catch you all a little later on, and don't forget... I told you that, didn't I?